In this tutorial, you will learn which planning data are visualized in the machine information panel for a crawler crane, an LR. The machine information panel of an LR 1300 looks very similar to an LTM 1750. The configuration and the geometry of a crane have an impact on the maximum load and therefore on the utilization of the crane. The total load indicates the mass that the crane has to lift and includes the rope, the hook, the rigging and the load. Whenever you change the mass of one of those components, the total load will be recalculated. In this situation, the total load of the crane is 45.88 ton. I will now move the hook height and you see that the total load changes to 44.91 ton. So crane planner includes the weight of the rope that is in between the rope pulley and the hook. Each movement of the machine triggers a new calculation based on the LML, the load moment limitation of the machine. If you activate for instance the laughing jib gizmo, you will see the very same color indication as you know from the LTM. Green marks a load that can be lifted, the status is OK. Orange indicate a warning with a capacity of more than 90% utilization and red means an overload of the machine. Please be aware, there are configurations with small booms and full counterweights where the crane can tip over to the backside. This is indicated with red in the load indicator and marked with the status tip over in the machine information panel. The actual ground bearing pressure distribution of a crawler crane is displayed in the machine information panel. The ground bearing pressure is a result of the mass of the machine, including the load on the center of gravity. The resulting momentum is distributed to the crawler pads. If the upper carriage of the machine is rotated by 90 degrees, the pressure distribution has a rectangular shape. If you move the machine, to the red market worst case angle, the shape become more trapezial and might become triangular when you increase the load or outreach of the machine even more. Let's have a more detailed look into the ground bearing pressure reset tab. This visualization shows the maximum pressure over 360 degree. At 90 degree, the ground bearing pressure is on the smallest value. At the red market angles, it's on the maximum value. And on the front or back side, it's usually in between those two values. The more off center the center of gravity of the machine is, the bigger the differences between those two values becomes. If you click into the visualization, you can set the upper carriage angle of the selected machine. Additional, there is the erectability tab, where you can see via which side the machine and the actual configuration can be erected. In the center of gravity tab, you'll see the specific value of the center of gravity to the slewing center and the XY plane, as well as the difference of the COG height to the ground in the set axis. In this tutorial, we learned how the machine information of a crawler crane and LR look like. In the next tutorials, you will learn how to reconfigure and edit a machine.